Hello and welcome, Links here. We are playing Skim. Spika, Chinatsu, and Harukras Enchanting Marvels in quite frankly elaborate quests to rescue their cute girlfriend. That's right, I remembered the title. Totally did not read it from the bar. I read it from the bar, okay. I don't want to lie about it. Alright, so the very first step of seducing a woman is to be extremely smooth. Something that I excel in. Right, how do I go about being smooth? I personally recommend butter, but some people use coconut oil as well. Huh? If looks could kill... I'm sorry, I'll be serious from now on. You better be. Right, so how to be smooth 101? 101? 101. Step 1. Use pickup lines. I... Really? Trust me, it works! Timeless lines such as... What's your name? Or... Should I call you... Mine? Or... Do you believe in love at first sight? Or should I... Or... Should I walk past you again? Are always bound to work? And you're so sure of that because... Because I fell for them! I... <sighs> okay, so pick up lines are a definite no-go. Wait! Wait! I've got no one more! Go on. When she trips, catch her and say... Looks like you fell for me... Again! <laughs> Have some tea. It's poison, isn't it? Yes. Alright, pick up lines are out. But speaking of tea, have tea with her. And bake a cake together. That's quite domestic. Yeah, it's homely and you get cake afterwards too. That isn't a terrible idea. Alright, you get to have an unpoisoned cup of tea. Thank you, great one. What's next? Next? How long have you known Mika? About the air, I guess. Why? Damn! I was hoping to bank on the childhood friends to love her stroke. Childhood friends? Are you and Haruka childhood friends? Yeah! I've known her since kindergarten. That's a long time. <sighs> What's wrong? Maybe I have no chance after all. Don't think like that. Inner links arrived. <laughs> I do not agree. You have a chance. Don't think like you don't have. You always have a chance. You can't give up without trying. Truth. Wait, why? The bond between childhood friends just seems impenetrable. Sure, you may think pickup lines and baking are effective, but I bet it's the fact that you guys are childhood friends that won't hark over. I can't imagine Haruka wanted to date you otherwise. <gasps> Wait, I'm both offended and confused. Mika has a childhood friend too. Her name is Doko. We're old friends. But I just can't help but feel like Mika cares more about Doko than me, you know? Which really sucks, but also kind of makes sense. See, because she's known Doko for such a long time. What I know about Mika is nothing compared to what Doko knows about her. And I'm pretty sure Doko is in love with Mika too. And I wouldn't be surprised if Mika were to choose Doko over me. But I can't give up. Not on Mika. She's too important to me. I really can't bear to lose her. I'm with you on that. Rena, you can do it. <laughs> I'm sorry for dumping all of this on you. You probably think I sound like a win whining toddler who's been denied their favorite toy, right? Hi. I think you're mistaken about something. Haruka and I didn't bake together. And she didn't use pickup lines on me either. Those were Chinatsu and Spika, respectively. Huh? Who the heck are Chinatsu and Spika? Ah, uh, yeah. I definitely did not explain the situation well enough. Wait. Let me get this straight. You have three girlfriends? Hmm. 
You... You... I ought to slap you. What? Wait, person, this okay, but please don't resort to physical violence. I can't believe you're a chicken. Oh, Haruka. Uh, I'm what? That poor girl. First, she ends up with an idiot like you. Now she's being cheated on by an idiot. Huh? No, 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 no. Wait just a moment. I'm not cheating her. And I'm not. I'm not an idiot either. That's right. I'm standing up for myself. No one calls me an idiot and a cheater. What are you talking about? You can't just have two other girlfriends when you're already dating Haruka. Why not? Oh, God. And the other two girls too? You're leaving three different girls from... I'm what? Wait, 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 wait. I think there is another misunderstanding. Because something is seriously wrong here. The only thing that's wrong here is the fact that you're taking three separate women at the same time. Wait, 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 wait. Do you think I'm in three separate relationships? With three separate women? Yeah? What else could it be? No, 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 no! Calm down! You've got it all wrong! All of us are in a relationship with each other. Huh? <laughs> what? Wait, so all of you are cheating, but wait, that doesn't make any sense. Is it still considered cheating if they're all aware of it, but at the same time? Carol, stop! What is with your obsession with cheating? I mean, I understand her. Uh, because I personally would not want to be in a relationship like that. I want one precious girl. Nothing more. Nothing less. Anyway. But nobody's cheating! Shut your mouth and listen up! I'm only gonna explain this once! Unless there will be a misunderstanding. Polyamory? Yeah! So you're all dating each other? Simply put, yeah. That's... You okay there? Have some tea? I've never heard of such a thing. I'm glad I was able to introduce you to it. But... Won't such a relationship cause complications? Won't you guys get jealous of each other or something? Well... Who's to say jealousy doesn't exist in a monogamous relationship? It does. All relationships have their fair share of problems. But they just make one better or worse than another. What's it like? Having three girlfriends. Wait, that's... Uh, I mean... I'm gonna call my friend to ask. <laughs> because he used to do that. That fucking bastard. Anyway. Hmm. It's incredible. Can I have a look at this? That's cute as heck. Every day is filled with so much joy and laughter. It's definitely not what I had expected when I first met them. But I honestly couldn't have asked for a better outcome. That sounds kind of nice. It really is. I love them all so much. So this whole time, you were talking about three different girls instead of just one? Mm. And here I thought you had somehow managed to score the perfect girl. When in reality you scored three! Well, no one's perfect, right? But I think the four of us are pretty perfect together. Whoa. I mean, that my scent isn't very stable, and it's kind of risky that I, like, put some wave on it, but whatever. To be fair, I broke one before, but I didn't put any wave on it back then. I will need to actually check out how this one is doing. But not now. <laughs> We all balance each other out in some way, and that's my favorite part of being in a relationship. This relationship. We aren't perfect on our own, too, but together we are. Like four slices of pizza coming together to form a whole pizza. Those girls only think about food. <laughs> oh, 
Over those would be some huge pizza slices. Maybe we're a personal pan pizza? Do you get it? Yeah. I think I'm starting to understand. Do you think? And never mind. Do you think you could be with Mika and Doku? I think we know each other very well enough by now. Do, do you think I'd be ruining Mika's relationship with Doko? Her relationship with... I thought Mika was single. She is technically... But she and Doko have always had this thing. Called natural bond or whatever. But it's pretty clear that both have a thing for each other. And I'm just a pathetic side character who's spinning after someone I'll never be able to get. Don't think like that, girl. Don't think like that. Hey, where'd the confident Rena go? She never existed. You're just easy to manipulate. <gasps> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. I don't think you have to change yourself in any way. You mentioned that Mika was the first to accept for you for who you are, right? Yeah. Then that means she likes who I says. Just tell her you like her. The hardest thing, right? Kind of. For fuck's sake, my hair pissed me off. And the very least that should get the wave off of your shoulders. I can't. What if she rejects me? That's the hard part. But go for it. Then she rejects you. I don't know anything about heartbreak because I've never experienced it myself. <laughs> but isn't that just another phase of life? Life's got its ups and downs. So that's just another down. <laughs> You're right. If she rejects me, then she rejects me. If she doesn't, then she doesn't. The only thing I can do is move forward. It's the spirit. Repeat after me. I will be okay. I'll be okay. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. Mika is hot. Mika is hot. Yuki is the greatest teacher ever. No. Damn. <laughs> I mean, it was worth a try. <clears throat> On today's episode of Spika's Phenomenal Incredible and Charming Adventures, otherwise known as Spika, my girlfriend is missing. But fear, fret not, for I, the wonderful and gorgeous Spica, have done everything that's needed for a successful rescue mission. That includes the necessary such as coming up with an epic plan, as well as shopping for rescue mission essentials such as flashlights and snacks. Flashlights, flashlights. <clears throat> After a quick trip to an ice cream parlor, we are finally ready to count our mission. Pika, stop muttering to yourself and take your ticket. Yes, ma'am. We are now taking the train. To where Yuki is. Sit down, honey. Yes. You too, Haruka. Thanks, Jinatsu. Isn't it ex exciting? We're another step closer to our end goal. Contain yourself. You're disturbing the other passengers. I sincerely apologize. However, I'm really excited to be taking a train again. Oh, they almost missed the train. I think they may be our seatmates. How do you know? Look, they are heading our way. Oh, God, I have to socialize. Fear not, Haruka. I will do the talking for you. Here they come. Good day, ladies. We have truly really been blessed by your presence. Oh, you girls are so cute. Ooh, hello there. <laughs> what a charming group of ladies. We might as well get to know each other. Seeing our, we are, uh, seeing as we are going to be spending the next hour or so together. I'm Spika. This lovely lady here is Chatsu and the shy one is Haruka. I'm the... It can take her a while to warm up. <laughs> oh, the... Mika! You girls are adorable. So cute! 
I'm kind of afraid of her eyes. I'm Mika, and this is Doku. You are pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you, girls. I don't have that many voices. <laughs> oh, and Natsu and Haruka have fallen asleep. Must have been a long day for the both of them, especially Haruka. That leaves me to do the socializing for all three of us. Fortunately, I'm incredibly good at this. With my top tier people skills and incredibly charismatic smile, it will be a piece of cake for me. So, where are you girls headed? Our girlfriend has been kidnapped and we're headed to where she's being held captive. Just your typical Sunday, you know? That's some fun. Do you know where she is at? Oh yeah, let me just pull up her location real quick. There we go. Hey Mika. Hmm. Is something wrong? I must apologize. It seems that our little gremlin has been causing trouble again. <laughs> little gremlin. Your little our friend Rena. She's really cute, but she also tends to cause trouble wherever she goes. It seems that you girls have been caught up in her business this time. <sighs> we know where your girlfriend is. In fact, we're heading there ourselves right now. Oh, wow, what a coincidence! Wait, did your friend kidnap my girlfriend? Unfortunately, that seems to be the case. We're really sorry, but Rena's all bark and no bite, if that makes you feel any better. I'm sure girlfriend's safe. <sighs> that does make me feel better, actually. But why would Rena be interested in Yuki? That's the name. That's the name of uh, my kidnapped girlfriend, to clarify. Ah, that's what we're trying to find out as well. The girl's been acting strange recently. Yeah, she's been avoiding us, so now we're going to her. She's better prepared, a good explanation as to why she's been running away from us. I'm gonna mess her up real good when we find her. <laughs> what? You have fun with that, love. I will! Well, she's off in her own world, let us talk. Sure! So, are you third wheeling? Am I what? Being a light bolt crushing their date. She's pointing at Natsu and Haruka. What? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure what understand what you're implying. Or were you girls on a double date? Before Rena kidnap your partner, that is. A double? Why would we need to go on a double date? Huh? Is it not called double date when two separate couples participate in an activity together? <laughs> I think you're mistaken. The four of us are in two couples. We're a quad. A quad? Yeah. We're all dating one another. Uh. I apologize for assuming. That's all right. So. How do girls go about doing it? Doing what? Getting into such a relationship. Hmm. Okay. Boop. Come on, man. She's a beauty. Speak eyes there. Speak eyes the girl. It kind of happened naturally. We were all trying to date Yuki, but she couldn't choose between the three of us. So I suggested just dating each other. It was the choice that made the most sense for us. So you knew that the others would agree to such an arrangement? I wouldn't say I knew necessarily. It was the nerve-wracking. It was nerve-wracking to suggest a poly relationship, but I sort of knew that they wouldn't react too negatively to the idea. Hmm. Would you have done the same thing had you not been as assured? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Hmm. I'm not really sure of that myself. I simply can't imagine a scenario where the four of us aren't in such a relationship. I'm sorry, couldn't be of more help. Don't apologize. It's my fault for asking so many questions in the first place. What's it like being in a quad? Hmm. Really great, if I'm being honest. It was really lonely for me at first. I had no one and was afraid of getting close to others. But the Natsu came along and forced me out to open up to her. You could say she was the closest thing I had to a friend. But things were still kind of weird when it was just the two of us. 
I had never had a friend and that was also a senior, so she couldn't spend all her time with me. <clears throat> Plus, I wasn't really sure how friends were supposed to interact with each other. Then came Haruka. She's blonde and straightforward and... Don't tell her I said this, but she's easy to tease. It was really fun being around her. It slow I slowly got used to being around the two of them. But Yuki was what really brought us all together. I guess you could say she was the catalyst of our relationship. If it weren't for her, who knows what not, so happy can I would be right now. I'm happy being with them. They're all so important to me, and I love all of them so much. That sounds nice. It is! I feel really lucky to have been able to meet them. What about you? What about me? You have a thing for Doga, right? And Rena too, from the looks of it! What makes you say that? It's clear as day you and Doko have something going on. And I've never seen anyone call someone else their little gremlin with such a fond expression. <laughs> How observant of you. You're right. Doko and I are together. But we can't stop thinking about what it'd be like for Rena to join us, since we both really like her too. Mm. Mm. I've been meaning to talk to Rena about it, but... That girl can be difficult. She's exceptionally stubborn. I know she likes me, since she does a horrible job at concealing her feelings for me. Okay. But I'm not sure about her feelings toward Dog. Which is why I'm afraid of bringing the topic up to her, lest she refuses to even hear us out. Understandable, I guess. Well, I'm sure she'll listen. I don't know Rena, but I do know that girl in love is willing to do anything for the ones she adores. I hope so too. Thank you for talking to me. You're welcome. Thanks for listening to me ramble as well. I don't usually share this much with people I've never met, but this day has been a lot. I just want to find Yuki soon. I assure you, she's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, I trust you. This is awkward. So, is it safe to assume you girls are done with whatever we're talking about? Uh. Mm. Welcome back. You girls were totally off in your own little world just now. It was lonely at first, but she understood Haruka had me company. Did you know that Haruka has the worst poker face on earth? It's so cute! <coughs> you don't have to don't defend yourself, honey. We all know it's true. Just kill me. Oh, come here. You girls seem to have had fun. Yeah. I can't believe you were playing Gold Maid without me. Forgive us, but the two of you were so engrossed in your conversation. We didn't want to risk interrupting something important. Yeah. What were you talking about anyway? Did you not hear? Eh. Doko. I think I've made my decision. <laughs> the decision has been made. <clears throat> we just got to move this piece here. And there. It's done. Rena, we did it. Hell yeah. We basically built the tallest tower of Mac. Freeze! It's the police! Rons! <laughs> oh man, I've always wanted to say that. Huh? Huh? Speak up! Hey Kittel! How are you? We've been worried sick, especially Haruka. Things just weren't the same after you left us to fend ourselves. <laughs> and drink as this is, I'd be more one of the dicky type of standing next to me. Let me give you a hug, my darling kid. You will pay for this. <laughs> ah. Who is this kid and why is she throwing macarons at me? Oh, green tea flavored. <laughs> nope, nope, it was wasabi. Why would anyone have this? <laughs> Yuki! Haruka! I did 
Kiri. Chinatsu. What are you guys doing here? We're here to save you, idiot. Although it seems that your kidnapper has found a new target. Hmm? Those macarons are awfully sturdy. I wonder if they're stale. Probably. Ren was gonna feed them to me until I suggested be the macaron tower. Knowing her, those definitely aren't fresh. Oh dear. Spear of feeding. You must be famished. Well, well. We, well, Spica got you some food. She was worried that you'd be hungry here. Here you go. Mm. <gasps> Strawberry Bucky! Thank you guys! Rain has been feeding me, but it's hard to tell what's poisonous and what's not. Huh? Huh? Poisonous? Yeah, Rena poisons my food if she's unhappy with me. The important thing is that we're here to feed you now. Let me just... Spica! Don't eat those macarons! Too late! Too late! This toothpaste is pretty good for... No, stop! Arr! Take this! This one's special one just for you, you tower murderer! Oh, that's a really glittery macaron! Spica, do not eat... Spica! They look like a heavy hum. I have no idea what I just said. They look like they are having fun. It's great to see the two of them on wind after everything that's happened. How are you, by the way? It must be tough being kidnapped. Oh, okay. Rena's not as scary as she seems. So we've been told. Oh, by who? We met some of her friends on the way. Mika and Doko. Would you girls mind coming here for a moment? Coming! Is that the matter? Everything's fine. If you ignore the dumpster fire happening in the background. This is Yuki, my other girlfriend. Mm, charmed. Oh, you're the kidnapped girlfriend. You're so cute. I, I mean, to be honest, come on, from the looks of it. Of all the girls in this game, come on. If you would assume someone is a kidnapper, it would be her, right? <laughs> and you guys are the love inter. I mean, for friends! Rene has told me so much about you guys. Good things, I hope. Oh, what did you say? Mm, yes! Very good things. Anyway, you should sit down and have some tea. Before I spill off Rena's secrets to them. I missed you so much, Kitten. Uh, I missed you too, Spica. <sighs> I vow to never part with you ever again. Spica. Kitten. Spica. Kitten. Uh, so while they do that, would anyone like to explain what's going on? Your staring gaze isn't subtle, Pontail. Pon it! <sighs> okay, fine. I kidnapped Mochi. Happy? Is Mochi supposed to be Yuki? Wait! Haven't, be, haven't I been promoted to ice cream, Mochi? It's too much of a mouthful, so you've been demoted again. <sighs> what is going on? Don't worry. This means she likes you. What? Rena nicknames the people she likes. If you're lucky, she'll never even call you by your name. If she remembers it, that is. But that's what makes her so cute. Give me a hug, Rena. <gasps> Get off of me. Wait a minute. Rena, you've liked me from the start. Uh, don't let herself lose her. Why else would she kidnap you? You're right. I don't think that's how kidnapping works. <laughs> it's nice that we're all so relaxed right now. Wait, Chinatsu. Don't think that. It's, po it's been poisoned. Take this instead. Hey. Thank you, dearie. This feels like a fever dream. A word of advice, Haruka. 
If Rena seems so eager to offer you food, it's likely been laced with something. Nothing too life threatening, but I suggest not ingesting it. Uh. I have no idea what to do with this information. That aside, should we be talking about something else? Like why Rena kidnapped Yuki? Oh! About that! I think we should give Rena, Mika, and Doko some privacy! Rena, hey, Rena here has something to talk about with the two of them! Really? What a coincidence! Mika and Doko, Mika and Doko also have something to discuss with Rena! What? She's right. We need to talk. Come on, Rena! Oh, hey! Huh? Good luck! Remember my lessons! And there she goes off on her own! They grow up so fast! <laughs> I believe in you, Rena! You got this! Hey, Yuki! Hi, Haruka! You're sure you're okay? Yeah, kitten! I wasn't kidding about Haruka being worried, you know! She was on the verge of tears! Oh! We were all worried about you, dearie! You guys! I'm completely fine! You just can don't catch colds, right? I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. <laughs> I think you hear me that an idiot like her will never get sick. Keep up, Haruka! <laughs> That's not what she meant. <laughs> that one. This is one scary expression. Be serious, girls. <gasps> oh man, I've never seen Jinatsu snap. We are so dead. I'm sorry, Jinatsu. I'm not angry at you, dearie. It's just that we are all worried sick about you. Your phone was dead, and we had no way of checking up on how you were doing. <gasps> My phone! I completely forgot about it! I'm sorry, Jinatsu! I should have thought about contacting you guys! Don't worry, dearie. It must be hard on you too. Oh, I've missed you, dummy. We all, we all have. I miss you guys too! You're such an idiot. Oh! But I'm your idiot, right? That you are. No fair! Oh! Group up without me! Get in! Now that we've got your back, we're never letting go! That's completely fine with me! <laughs> guys! Yes? Hmm? What's up? Hi! I just love you all so much! <laughs> Don't cry, dearie! We all love you too! Yeah! I love you, Yuki! I love you too! Stop! You're gonna make me cry! Dearie, you already are! So, uh... We're gonna try dating each other? All three of us. Congratulations, Rena! Girl, I knew you could do it! I'm so proud of you! Oh my god, get off of me! Thank you, Yuki. I don't know what you said to Rena, but I did not expect her to be so... Amendable. Eh, uh, amendable. She tends to avoid confrontation like the plague. It was nice getting to have a proper talk with her. Yeah! She was so willing to both share and listen. I've never seen her act this mature. I'm not a child, Doko! Hush! Hey. Ah! Wow! That's one effective headbutt! I wonder if Mika's the only one with that ability! But seriously, thank you! This wouldn't have happened without you! <laughs> as much as I enjoyed the prayers, it was all thanks to Rena kidnapping me in the first place! About that. Don't you have something you want to say, Rena? <laughs> ah, fine. Mochi. No, uh, Yuki. <gasps> I'm sorry for kidnapping you. And I'm sorry for trying to tie your arms so tightly. And I'm sorry for calling you annoying, even though you are. I'm sorry for accusing you for cheating. I'm sorry for saying you're easy to manipulate. And I'm sorry for trying to serve you poison food. Wow, we've been through a lot. But, um, I must just want to thank you for listening to me. 
And talk to me even for you totally didn't have to. Gosh, you are the most adorable thing on earth. I will wrap you up in a hug and never let you go. <laughs> Get off of me. No, I'm never letting you go. You're literally so annoying. But that's why you love me. I don't, but okay. You know you do. You totally do. Come on. Do you love me? If I say yes, will you let go of me? Maybe. Okay, fine. You're not the worst thing on earth, idiot mochi. <gasps> Don't let it get to your head. I love you too, Rena. Uh. Well then, it is time for us to take our leave. We thoroughly enjoyed the time spent together and would like to once again apologize for the actions of this one over here. <laughs> you don't... You didn't have to hit me. How much trouble do you think you've caused today? I... Alright, fine. We should totally hang out again. Drop us a call whenever you're in the area. We will! Alright. Bye! What she said? I hope to see you girls again soon. And there I go. Just like the wind. I would like to point out that we are in Arena's house. <laughs> what a day, huh? Definitely not how I expected they to play out. It was nice getting to know so many new people for... But the best part is definitely got to be reunited with you here. Oh, but... Enough about me. You've got to tell me how your day went. Uh, Kitten, you will not believe this. Haruka made multiple puns today. She, she what? It's not a big of a deal. No, it kind of release. Haruka, I didn't think you even knew what the pants were. I guess you're just bad familiar with my sense of humor. Ah, did that really just happen? I can assure that it did happen. Oh my god! Today is going down in history. I'm never forgetting this. <laughs> it truly has been a memorable day. And I've got the perfect way to wrap it up. Drum roll, please. It's middle of the night, so let's do it calmly. And here came the end of the speaker chance of Horka's enchanting marvels and quite frankly the world quest to rescue their cute girlfriend. <sighs> did did Spica come up with that? She sure did. Thanks to the brilliant scheme of our girlfriend, our girlfriend Yuki has successfully Successfully been rescued in no time. It's kind of arguable. This marks the end of the another chapter in our lives, girls. Applause, please. Ooh. Theatrics aside, how did she know? I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you guys. I agree with Pika. There's never a dull moment of you girls around. I agree. I can't wait to! This is probably what pure happiness feels like! <laughs> this isn't the first adventure we've been on together, and it definitely won't be the last. But no matter what happens! I, I'm, by the way, I'm keeping you to these words. Where is the next game? <laughs> when? Okay, not where is the next game. When is the next game? <laughs> but take your time. But I want more. <laughs> But no matter what happens, I know that the three of them will always be there, supporting me. And I'd do, to the extent, same thing for them. And try, I truly couldn't be happier with the way things have turned out. The end. So, did you guys uh, enjoy the scheme? Speak at Chinatsu and Haruka, Haruka enchanting mem marvelous and quite frankly elaborate ways to rescue their cute girlfriend. That's a good game. Those two games <clears throat> are short, but they're so good. What's up, idiot boy, Milky Bee? Thanks so much for finishing the game. 
I hope you enjoyed the local lesbian shining guns. Hell yeah, Kate. Oh, what's that? You want more? Hell yeah! You wanna know exactly the emotionally constipated run I managed to score both girls? Well, you're in luck! Because you can now view the bonus scenes in the extra sections! And also viewing the CGs in the gallery section. Yes, that's what I'm here for as well. I'm collecting the CGs like maniac. I hope you enjoyed the bonus lesbians and guns too! And once again, thank you so much for playing the game! Shall we do it now? Let's do it now. Welcome to the extras! Which bonus scene would you like to view? Tom. Which one is the correct one? Eh, it's okay. Okay, that's the one. All right. Let's go. The talk. Or you know what? Different. We'll do it in the next episode. <laughs> Let's do it like that. I mean, this has been a quite long, a long one. I will check out those extras. If. Okay, what's the first meeting, for example? I don't know that. Holy crap. This is some different stuff. Okay, guys. We will get to that in the next one, really. There is locked... Free locked uh, CGs, okay. But boys, Spika is my girl, man. She's my girl in this game. Ah. Uh, Alright, scheme extras tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Bye-bye.